Hi, this is Phil Scheel, and I'm uh, working with Creative Endeavours, and uh, we're going to critique this photograph submitted by Karen today. Uh, you're all welcome to submit photographs to this site, and occasionally we'll choose one, and we will uh, critique it for you. Uh, I will critique the photograph, and then I will uh, try and give you some examples to show you how it would have looked different uh, based on that critique. And then we'll send Karen off with some suggestions for how she might better take photographs in future. Enjoy. So, what are we going to tell Karen about this picture? Basically three things. We're going to talk about composition. The composition, I think, would have been better had it not been fully centered. I think she could have taken these three items and, and when she was composing her in the camera, maybe put them down in the bottom right-hand corner and gave us a bit more space at the top and a bit more space at the left. That would have given the image a bit more breathing space and it also would have got rid of this thing over here and isolated these three things right here, allowing us to see these and not get distracted by this thing that ended up being out of focus anyway. So composition, I think, rule of thirds would have played well for Karen in this shot. Exposure, she could have uh, exposed a little bit better. It's a little bit dark and uh, that would have helped it have been a bit lighter. And then the focusing. I think this is, you know, this is okay and this is okay, but this looks a little soft. Um, and I think it would have been the image would have been much better had this one flower been uh, also nice, and crisply in focus. So I've taken uh, Karen's photograph into uh, Photoshop, and uh, here it is. Here, and I'm going to show you first what happens if we'd uh, if she'd have lightened it up or sorted out the exposure. It probably would have looked a little bit like this, I think, a little bit lighter, a little bit more um, fresher, I think, and uh, that would have improved it. Uh, she could easily do that in Photoshop. Um, but then the next thing I did was I tried to envision what it would have looked like if she'd have uh, used a rule of thirds and uh, put these flowers in the bottom right-hand side of her camera, in the frame in the camera when she was framing the picture. And I'm guessing it would have looked a bit like this, and I think, you know, uh, this would have been a much better composition. She would have a bit more space here. It allows this to breathe a little bit more. Composition is a little bit more interesting because it's not just straight, you know, in your face. And uh, it's using a very, very a strong, strong version of uh, a compositional technique called rule of thirds, which I think would have been perfect for this shot. Okay, what to tell Karen for her future shoots? Well, firstly, she needs to check composition. I would slow down perhaps, put the camera on the tripod and have a look at the composition and try to stay away from these center shots. Try to make sure that you're using rule of thirds uh, as much as possible and, uh, and that should solve that problem. Exposure, well, you know, I think you could, uh, having taken the shot, you should look at it in the camera and uh, see if it looks good, decent, bright enough. And, uh, and also check out the histogram and learn how to read those because they'll help you as well. And then there's this focusing issue. Um, what I would do to solve that is, uh, you know, possibly she uh, wasn't uh, at her greatest depth of field. So if she wasn't at, say, f22, uh, then she should fix that. And uh, any time that she wants a great depth of field to, uh, to increase it to her uh, largest f-stop, which would be the smallest aperture. But even if she was, it's possible that uh, that this was out of focus, not because of that. Just uh, And so what do we do then? Well, what you can do then is put the camera on the tripod and uh, set the composition up and set the exposure, get all of that ready, and then manually focus. Manually focus, for example, on this, and then take another shot, and this time manually focus this, and then take a third shot and manually focus onto this. And she'll have three identical shots where, in each case, each one of this is focused. It's called bracketing, focus bracketing in this case. And what you can do then is later at home to, uh, put those three shots together and, and it's called compositing. Put them together as a composite in Photoshop and they all look nice and sharp. So that's what I'm going to suggest you do in future, Karen, and uh, good luck with your future shots.